All right, let's talk about cholesterol. Um, so a lot of people are thinking that white meat uh, is actually low in cholesterol. It isn't. The other, what do they call it, the other white meat, not low in cholesterol. Uh, all of these animals are about the same. Uh, salmon is a little bit less, uh, but if you could r rattle off anything that comes from a plant, you'll see that there's zero milligrams. I know there's a, a little movement out there to correct the record that there, uh, along with plant sterols, there are some plants that actually make cholesterol that look chemically identical <coughs> excuse me, to the cholesterol that we have in our cell walls, but it's in nanogram quant quantities. And so um, you, it wouldn't make it to one milligram because it's, you know, like four nanograms. That's way too small, or micrograms, I should say. Um, there are uh, three egg products, or three animal products that don't have cholesterol. Egg whites is one of them. Um, uh, Jello has no uh, cholesterol, and honey, of course, has no cholesterol. Um, but eggs are to really to be avoided because the amount of cholesterol in egg yolks is extremely high. And this, that one feature may be the difference between the Adventist Health Study vegan and, and uh, uh, lacto-ovo uh, vegetarian. I would imagine that the eggs are worse than the dairy uh, based on the nurse's health study. Can we do something about the cholesterol with diet? Absolutely. Um, my first foray into this with David Jenkins and the portfolio uh, diet, uh, doing a lot of plant sterols, that's like bean soup, uh, soy protein, viscous fibers, three handfuls of almonds uh, three times a day, and dramatic decrease in, in cholesterol over a short period of time. Uh, just two weeks later, uh, you've got about a 30% decrease in LDL. Um, the uh, C-reactor protein, that is a marker of inflammation, also goes down. And when you look at it in, in uh, large amounts of data, which Neil Barnard's group did, just adding up the world's literature, kind of blow that up for you. Bottom line is, you decrease your calorie or your cholesterol increase and your cholesterol will go down either a lot or a little or a moderate amount but it will go down absolutely let's talk about protein for a moment uh, we always you know, get this question okay we get this question all the time does vegetables even have protein uh, well they actually do and um, the more protein uh, that you get from animals is it worth the increase in the mortality? Probably not, uh, because you can get protein from vegetables very well. And people will argue this point and say that it's inadequate protein, it's just not uh, what humans should be doing, and um, I get the, into this discussion. Do I have any nutritionists in the audience? Okay, any dietitians? Okay, all right, well, it usually is the non-plant-based dietitians that challenge this and say, particularly for our renal failure population, that they're not getting enough protein. It's okay, so where do you think the um, patient should get protein from? Well, give me an example. You say, they'll typically say steak. Okay, so where did that cow that they murdered get the protein? Grass, and you can see the light bulbs going off in the, in the brain, and then they just mentioned that you know, that cow sitting in a pasture, minding its own business, eating a lot of grass. There's a, there's a barn over in the corner. The barn's got a horse in it. What's he eating? Hay. Yeah, exactly. Another species of grass. Uh, and then there's a giraffe in the zoo. You know, what is it? It's, it's, it's up at the top of the tree eating something. Is it squirrel eggs? No, they're eating leaves. So the largest land mammals have perfectly adequate protein intake, and they're much larger than humans, and they're completely vegetarian. So the idea that you can't get uh, protein from vegetables just never made any sense, and the dietitians sort of slink away, uh, realizing that the light bulbs have gone off, uh, that you can get uh, adequate protein from uh, plant substances. Um, a lot of people use egg whites. Really doesn't have that much protein compared to other animals, but at least there's no cholesterol. Um, but uh, and. You could probably find something more than soybeans, but any animal product that doesn't have 36 grams uh, per 100 grams like, uh, like soybeans do. And so lentils, there are a few more that could go on this list um, where the protein is actually more dense uh, than it is in animal products. 